This wasn't the video I expected to make him, but yeah, this is just the way things going today. So I just want to be transparent and honest. This has happened for me times before with my whole YouTube career. I've been making YouTube videos for almost six years now. This is my actual second channel. I used to have another channel, but that got deleted. Had almost 100,000 subscribers, got deleted for various different reasons that I won't go into. And yeah, I have just loved making YouTube videos over the last six years, but I'm telling you, at the moment, and this has been like this for a while now, if you've noticed, for the last month, I haven't made that many videos, and the month before that as well. And normally, in the past, I've made videos almost consistently on this YouTube channel. But I've just got to a point at the moment where I just don't want to make content. Like, especially after I did my four month transformation video, it took me four months to collect all the footage that I did for that. And then I spent over three days editing it. Well, not all the hours over those three days, but the majority of them. I put so much time and effort into it and it got hardly any views, it got over 2000 views. And this sort of just keeps happening on this channel at the moment. So many of the videos that I spent a lot of time on are just not getting a lot of views. It's just like I'm putting all that time and effort and it just feels like the effort to worth is just not there. It's just like, what is the frigging point? Like, it's just making me not feel good about myself. Well, it's not making me, but I'm not feeling good about myself. I'm feeling like a bit of a failure with it. It's just like, it's just not giving me anything good internally whatsoever. When I'm going about my life and just doing what I want to do and not doing YouTube, I feel amazing within myself. When I'm going to the gym, spending time with people that I want to spend time with and doing the things I want in life and just living my life without thinking about YouTube, I feel amazing. But unlike in the past, it used to be like I was doing really, really well a lot of time on YouTube. And because I was doing well, I was getting dopamine from it, which makes me want to come back and keep making it again and again and again. And I was always thinking about YouTube, sleeping it, like eating it, drinking it. You could say like always just on my mind all the time. And that's when I had so much passion and drive for it. So yeah, it's just like, pfft. yeah, I'm just finding it hard work. I just keep forcing myself to make content that doesn't do very well, a lot of it. Some of it does, the majority doesn't. And I wanna be changing the direction of this channel into like a fitness channel. I've tried to do it before, it didn't work. I've been thinking about doing it recently. I've made a few videos on that type of topic and it doesn't seem to be going too well but the thing is the majority of my subscribers on my channel don't necessarily want to watch those videos so what i need to do is keep making videos that i consistently start getting new subscribers and new audience on my channel and then it could grow but yeah i just haven't got much of an incentive to be doing it F for those reasons and many other reasons as well it's just like yeah it's just not bringing me any joy in life whatsoever it just makes me feel apathetic and demotivated and i don't really just don't want to do it so it's not really the best for me to keep forcing it because then i'm not necessarily gonna make the best content and maybe not have the best ideas for content even though the content i have been producing has been really good recently and also i have another youtube channel and i'm not going to talk about it or well link it down below or say what the name of it is because i just don't want to share this youtube channel on this channel because it's not really relevant with the content on this channel and the people that watch this channel but this is a channel me and my girlfriend started not that long ago. And it's like every video, even the ones that aren't the best, will get like 20,000 views easily. The ones that are doing the best get hundreds of thousands of views, some of them even 2 million views. It's like the incentive for that is really there. We took a break from it, but we're going to come back to that fully now. So it's just like I feel so much passion for that so much creativity, so much joy, and I'm looking forward to it so much. I have the excitement with this other channel and the content we make on there. So yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this channel. Maybe I'll just take a break for a while. I've had to do this in the past where I'm not feeling very motivated to make content anymore and it's not giving me that spark anymore and just that zest for life <laughs> and all the enjoyment that you really wanna be getting for it rather than it feeling like a nine to five job because that's what it's been feeling like. Not that I've ever worked a nine to five job because I've been an entrepreneur pretty much my whole adult life and since I've been working. So yeah, me and my girlfriend are gonna start going in the direction of that channel. We'll see how that pans out. And I'm sure I will wanna come back and start making content on this channel. But for now, it's just like, I just don't want to in any way, shape or form. I might take a break for months. I might take a break for a week or so, but yeah.
And my girlfriend's very aware that it's affecting me in a negative way. And she's just like, why are you bothering with this? This is not, this is not good for you in any way, shape or form. Why not just spend time on other things that actually bring you the most joy in life? And that's what I say to people. If you want to be happy truly in life, you've got to do more of the things that you love to do as much as you possibly can. And you'll live the best, happiest, fulfilling, most joyful life that you possibly can. But when you're doing things such as pursuing a career that you really don't love, it's really going to just bring you down and affect your whole human experience in a negative way, which is just not good at all. So yeah, I'm not quitting YouTube as a whole. I just feel that I need some time away from this channel. But yeah, the reason why I made this video is because YouTube is therapy for me. And I wanted to make a video on something else. But then I was like, you know what? That is not being true authentic to myself. I've got like this like hurt in my heart where I feel upset about this. It's not making me feel good emotionally. And it's like for me to then put on a front and a character where I'm talking about something that's gonna educate you. And then I've got that going on inside me. That's not me being authentic and true to myself at all in any way, shape or form. So yeah, this is my therapy. And many times when I had things going on, in my YouTube career over the last six years and I voiced it, it really does help me start to process and move through what I need to go through. So then I come through the other side and not have to have that going on within my emotional body and my human experience anymore. <sighs> yeah. Such is life. It's not the end of the world. Life goes on. YouTube is not <laughs> life. Yeah. It's just camera in front of you and you're just talking to an audience but yeah yeah we just see what happens and that's what I would just say to you in life if you're not enjoying what you're doing for a career find a way to get out of it find another way to make money and do what you love to do but yeah I'm definitely finding something that I can put my energy into because if I'm someone that hasn't got something to work towards with a career or a passion or a purpose whatever you want to call it I just feel not as good as I can possibly feel. I love being productive and I love creating things and helping others and sharing a positive message throughout the world in whatever way that I want to. Yeah, and one last thing I wanna mention is there's been times in my life and there's so many other people that are doing this now that have done this in the past where you're pursuing a career, normally most people, for obvious reasons why they're pursuing it, is due to the money that they're earning. And a lot of people will do anything to earn money. And I'm telling you, yeah, you can do that. But if it's not something that you truly enjoy and love doing it, you're not being authentic to yourself and it is going to destroy you from the inside out. It's just not going to be good in any way, shape or form for your mental health, your physical health, just your whole human experience in every single way. It's just not going to make you the best version of yourself. It's not going to make you the best person to be around with other people that are in your life. And it is just not a good direction to go in in any way, shape or form. So yeah, for me, I've done that at times in the past with various things. And in the end, I get to the point where I just keep grinding it out, keep doing it. And I get to a point where I'm like, this is enough. I can't do this. This is a breaking point. And this is what I just feel like I'm at with this YouTube channel at the moment for very understandable reasons. So I'll keep you updated and let me know your thoughts on this. All right? maybe you've got some positivity to share with me or others down below. So yeah, that's it from me in this video. Don't forget to leave, as always, your comments, your questions, your likes, your shares, and don't forget to subscribe. So enjoy the rest of your day, make the most of it, and catch you on the flip side. Peace.